What's up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Top Wives. It's Sunday. It's challenge day, ladies and gentlemen. We got the freaking weekend challenge and this one definitely yeah, uh, steered up the discussion um, about so many different rounds there. I actually posted around here round seven. It's a tricky one. We will go into that one. But um, the mystery manufacturer is Renault and yeah, uh, I got sh shouted out on Instagram. <laughs> Actually, Blossom was posting around there and told me, Mr. Renault, and let's see how far I can go. But um, I no, let's not see. I will finish this whole thing with you together, guys. We got two ceramic packs and we got a carbon fiber pack. Let me know down below what you think, which will be the better one. You never know. I mean, carbon fiber pack, obviously, you can get. You at least get an ultra rare, right? But uh, sometimes, um, on the other on the other hand, I mean, some of the current super rares which we have, I say, Lotos, for example, um, can be way better than some ultra rares. So, uh, just saying, just saying. But all right, it's going to be a little bit tricky here and there, but we will try our best and finish this baby here. And we will speak about some of the current events as well. Which uh, made a lot of people very exciting, very exciting. I mean, let's not forget we're currently in the last hours of um, the finals of one of the best legendaries out there. The Bugatti Chiron Sport. And I want to know from you guys, how far are you? Are you doing any good regarding tier 1? Or is it maybe as low as possible? I don't know. For me, it is It is actually almost a little bit sad because um, I hope I, I will not mess it up. I, I think tier 2 is definitely possible thanks to um, the um, Range Rover Villa, which is maxed out. And most of the, I mean, all of the cars which I have there um, are maxed out. However, I'm missing out on like one, two. If I would have the Opel Adam R2, ooh, I think I would actually have a shot on the freaking uh, tier one because currently I'm around, yeah, I would say like place 20, but I hope I can stay there. You know how it is. You, you forget about the whole challenge or the finals and you go online and it's 11.05 and you're like, oh, oh, I just forgot about that. And that sucks, that sucks. So you see, we got our first ceramic pack coming here. This is as far as most of the people can go if you don't have any Volkswagen cars. You see, we have here the good old grass. Grass, I, I tell you, all surface tires feels for me uh, to be the best option in this one. We'll try our best here. Suzuki Swift Rally Spec, good old 18 IQ ride. Doing fine here. Um, I usually like to use the same cars. If I have this exact same car, in a challenge, then why not using it as long as it's maxed out, obviously. You just know that if the other car is not maxed out, if the same model is not maxed out, that you at least definitely, you have a safe win there and you don't need to focus so much on the others. So that's why you see a couple duplicates here. Just an easy strategy for me to um, go through the challenge as fast as possible. There we go. Couldn't really use um, gold because I only have as much and I want to use those in case of some emergency ticket buying because we have the valentine's event which is huge and i do have a shot there on tier one on the price car I, I dropped my video yesterday on this one many of you guys actually are doing quite fine there and yeah i, I want to have some last emergency tickets even though i know how it is i know it's going to be like i'm going online and i'm like rank 55 or something and uh, I have no chance. I see it already. I, I can I can I can feel it, you know, but uh, You know at least I can say hey, I saved those 300 gold coins. This is 15 tickets and you shouldn't forget uh, Well, we still have the issue of um, that you can't repeatedly use not issue but the challenge that you can't repeatedly use the same car, right? so uh, because after 10 times you need to uh, Maintenance to use some maintenance on that so uh, 
Yeah, uh, let's see about this. Maintain. Maintain, that's a word. Okay, forest floor. Here we go. We finish that baby. And yeah, 103 to 0 is a great start. That's soon against that soon. Oh, the good old Tatsun car. Never gets old, never gets old. I'm really sad that the Suzuki Swift Rally Spec is an 18 RQ car as well. I feel like it doesn't make much sense. It's like, I would always, if I have the chance, Suzuki Swift Rally Spec or Datsun, it's always gonna be Datsun, no chance. No chance, my friend, no chance. Maybe um, medium ground clearance, I need to check that. I think Suzuki Swift Rally Spec, I don't know right now. Does it have low, medium? Hmm. However, first ceramic of the day. Let's see. All right, come on, Peugeot 308, Honda Civic Tour, Honda CX, Lamborghini, and Porsche 928. I hate it, 15RQ. I hate those 15 RQ super rares, which you get. And don't forget, you now you actually can get the Subaru XT as well. So, here we go. Round 7. Tough one, tough one. And not that easy, absolutely not that easy. Um, because, yeah... You need to use two of your buses and one of the buses is definitely going to lose uh, you should make sure that you um, upgrade your buses that you minimize the loss just in case if you lose uh, well you will lose one round there we go P. this is a tricky one because it's not so much about the handling I realized I mean this round because you have this longer straights many times are you I drew Drop this one on Hairpin Road and then we try. It, the good thing is if you win with a bus, you get bonus points. Woo! There we go. There are 50 bonus points which are important. And here we go. Come on Caterham. Going home with we need just a couple more enough. Yes. Safe. Safe win. There we go. But it took me a while. It took me a while. And thanks to everybody who sent me. Uh, messages on Instagram and commented and so and yeah if you want to be part of that then don't forget to follow me on Instagram it's down below in the description so there we go still two buses by the that BMW I said that is actually not a bad ride absolutely not a bad it has a little bit of the smart feeling maybe there was kind of just guessing around here but I could imagine that a car like this was kind of like an inspiration was a smart car kind of like this i know smart is not from bmw it's from mercedes but just saying just saying other people inspire each other 300 to zero k to ham there we go 350 still not easy because we know we're going to lose a lot of points like here 141 all we need is a big win now come on well, you see this car he's like boom going away but we still win thanks to the max out yeah i realized by the way little advice for the next bus challenge make sure that you max out your buses before you go and join the weekend challenge because i was like stuck i need to find common rights <laughs> to max out my buses I totally forgot about that one so happy road twisty road we're doing we're doing just fine here just fine there we have highway 86 points good old Caterham and all rounder car which everybody should have seriously I would almost say two of them not three it's not that dominating but it's like now and then there's usually a track where you can if you have feel a low RQ fast city twister without obviously uh, speed bumps but um, yeah just like twisty road stuff like this then Caterham is definitely going for it okay there we go Woo! and the last one we should win but you see I told talked about this Dodge Grand Caravan it's a good ride it's a good ride there we have cash it's been a while since I actually was doing cash it took me a while so to <laughs> I was I'm upgraded so uh, and I want to do an episode definitely next week um, speaking about a couple cars which I upgraded from the great exhibition and there are a couple of very very interesting rides so round one there we go we have now Renault at Renault challenge which is mwah, just in my neighborhood love it and by the way at the end we will see what kind of next mystery manufacture is going to be and this is going to be tricky for me definitely uh, let's see if it will be tricky for you all right so doing fine here don't forget city street speed bumps medium ground clearance mandatory 
There we have it, even beating beautiful Lotus Rides. And Renault Sport going home. Bam! There we go. 271-20. Alright, two more to go for the next step, the next milestone, which will be the beautiful carbon fiber pack. And you see, we got like a Bentley race here, and there will be another one, a funny, a very funny deck later, you will see it. Alright, look at this, how long those cars are, it's all on Maybach. I, I'm not sure yet about Bentleys, I saw a couple of, um, which makes me a bit sad, just like thinking about that Bentley is going to be one of the prize cars, which I do have a chance to get, if I get it. However, I'm not so sure about all the Bentley cars yet, because it's... Um, I saw like a, a picture, someone was sharing a, a screenshot with me, um, using a, a legendary Bentley. And one of the legendary Bentleys with all surface tires and is losing against other rides. And I'm like, what? Not that nice, not that nice. And um, so, and then I had the other Bentley and everybody was like, yeah, well, it's okay. This one is not so. And I'm like, man, annoying, seriously. I got this um, on our way. Interesting. That's a very great exhibition deck here. Very diverse, ultra rare deck. Um, there's the Opel Adam again. TVR Griffith, uh, two stars there. Not too bad. Look at that one. It was 81. No, Opel Corsa. Sorry, not Opel Adam. That's the Opel Corsa. Yeah, true. Ah, keep saying up a Okay, so uh, do, 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 do. there we have it on the spot. And come on, it's carbon fiber pack time. Yes, good old Renault Desir, still killing it. 304 to 0, beautiful carbon fiber pack, and ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we're getting. First card of the day is going to be a Suzuki Swift Lamborghini Espada Serie 3. The Plymouth Duster 340 and we're going in for the edge and ladies and gentlemen the big card of the day is going to be epic BMW X6 Ooh, a specialist nice let's have a look um that's actually wait wait that makes me I'm, I'm currently I'm working my BMW squad is getting stronger it's like I got the other X got all the X's <laughs> all the good ones there probably are a couple more ones, but I know that some of them got worked on since the last update, so I should check that later. But I think this one actually has good mid-range, the X6, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I think so. I can check that myself later, but I think it was above 80, if I'm not mistaken. Because there are a couple of those different models, but let's have a look now. BMW, there, ooh, there it is, right there. X6, 4.6, 74 in handling. I hate this top speed. Uh, but, I mean, it's a... It is interesting. Okay. There we have this one. Wow, look at this. We got we start with 4.6 already. And if the mid-range is not bad, this is definitely competitive. Hmm. So, we got the X6. And here we go, our legendary, the X5M with 4.2 and 80. Ooh, nice. She pretty nice. One second, let's have a quick look. Um, we're going all surface, four wheel drive, zero to 60. Okay, there we have the X5 with three point. Ooh, it got fast. Did it get faster? Or was it like this? No, no, it's like this before, I think. Um, what is my selection there? Not too bad. And the X6 is right there. It is not even touched yet. Ooh. Ooh, any I want to hear from you guys any kind of suggestions for this car 323 332 or 233 let me know down below and now we are back with our beautiful Volkswagen challenge and yeah but I always have a good feeling not when I go against a Honda beat no I always have a good feeling when I know I can use my beautiful Bugatti very wrong there we go by the way, it's it's crazy how good the Chimron is. It's not even maxed out, it's beating me, my Veron. On, for example, mountain tour. I saw that the other day and I was like, man, makes me sad. Makes me sad to get 
when my Bugatti is getting beaten, but it happens. Okay, fast circuit, there we go. 384, Chevrolet Corvette, Havma, and sweet, going all the way through, 511 to 209. So, 12,000 cash, fast circuit, no issues here, absolutely not. I just need to figure out where to drop. Uh, oh, here come. Against a Humvee. Humvee. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Um, have my... Hey, wait, we do it like this. He goes test ball. He goes there. And... Does it matter? No. Just drop each one. There. So... Please, no server delays here. Move BDR. God, can't wait one day when I get the roof compressor. Which is a crazy car. Crazy mid-range. But probably how it will be. I'm getting this car and Hutch will be like, ah, let's decrease the mid-range. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it usually will be. Like, um, you always have this, this kind of like this window of opportunity when a car is like amazing. You should keep it, max it out and use it as many times as possible until the Hutch is dropping another 250 cars, which are either beating your car or they're like, ah, oh, we drop like 250 cars and your car gets demoted, kind of like this. So, and going home with enough points. Whew. 528. And next one, come on, grab those. Jaguar Mark II, hmm, 125 top speed. Yeah, there are a couple of interesting, right? A couple of interesting. However, there we go. Anything? Okay, well, that's very easy. Test ball is going to be Ufta. Uh, fast circuit is not going to be an issue. So, but by the way, if someone is asking them right now, like, mm, CMG, usually you skip through the rounds, but since uh, many people ask me, like, okay, I need to see the times, I need to see something, so I can do my final last minute preparations, then that's why I'm dropping this, going through it, bam. So, what am I? And here and there you see a couple of surprises, which is interesting. I think we can do it. Okay. Nice. And more cash is coming in. 12,000 so far. 58,000. There we go. And 70,000. 77, by the way. Playing a little bit. This. Oh, yeah. There we go. And now it's Renault time, but um, they're not dumb. <laughs> they dropped uh, three city streets tracks, kind of destroying my whole Renault vibe here. I know it's at least we got the we got the Megane Trophy, the Sport Megane Trophy, which luckily I mean it's a it's a good city streets monster. So luckily you got medium ground clearance. I wonder if there were ever changes, because I mean, by the look of it, it's not really the car which would strike me with medium ground clearance. I mean, there's the other Renault, the 19R Q1, which is amazing as well, which got low ground clearance, otherwise this car would be really killing it as well. So I feel like for this challenge, it's really important that you have the epic banana. <laughs> the Renault because yeah, we have this um, quarter mile challenge here in the end and They are not dropping low cars on this one Okay So you see I switched a little bit Because I need to I wanted to use the DF3 racing because here we go with this Ford the Ford is strong on city streets very strong But luckily it's not maxed out I mean, I can use the Renault this year instead of the Lotus, still doing a lot of points and almost likely will win any of those. So, no sport and then for the Grande Finale, we're going to beat that Beamer. Man, I love that Renault Sport Megane Trophy. Damn, look at this. <sighs> Beautiful. 
Hope they never touch this. Let it be. I mean, if they touch it, if they decrease the mid range, they need to remove the slick tires, man. Otherwise, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Ooh, Western Martin 177. Seriously? That looks interesting. I like the top speed there. 220, 20. 222, not 220, 20. <laughs> uh, can't talk. The node is here. Come on. Yes. board come on this is a tricky one because of this longer straight in the end so this Maybach is definitely not the worst choice Ooh, okay good it was a shortly I was a bit afraid all right however 10 more slots for us which is beautiful and now we go into the last six and there we need cars less than 16 a Q is what is needed which is not so difficult. Uh, but you just need one car. But look at this challenge here. And consider that um, those I8s, they just got uh, promoted, kinda. They got more handling now. They used to have way less handling, and now they got more handling. So. Good for them, I would say. Good for them. Luckily, here on Twisty Road, this is the tricky point here. Because you wanna, uh, you can drop like the lowest RQ car which can make Twisty Road snow. Because he's going to be, uh, yeah, disqualified or he is not finishing, which is DNF. And um, so you just wanna make sure that you win it. And as long as you win it, uh, you can go with the lowest RQ car as possible in round 19. But we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, Happy Roads. He's dropping. This is a tricky one because here he drops on Twisty Road um, a maxed out for the score ready spec. So I feel like if you're not able to beat that guy, it's not going to be so easy with the others. Because, I mean, that Fiat is good. Then here we have the Fall Ranger, which is not so amazing, but you see, he's like still only by 50 points and winning there. So I actually need to drop like the strongest car I can. Uh, which is like my Audi, luckily maxed out, which is able to beat the Ford Escort Rally spec. Because here you go, all of those, they're performing pretty well. The no Twizy, it's like the only one which maybe, yeah, does some extra points, 88. But wouldn't be enough if I would lose against the Rally spec. So I felt like, okay, first strategy should be seriously to beat that guy at the beginning. But it's going to be tricky. Let me know if you did anything else there. And here on Twisty Roads now. We can now go lower, however, this is like one of those premium uncommon cars. That um, Land Rover is, is pretty insane. I'm looking forward to ever get my hands on it. Not this one, not this one, not to get uh, mistaken here. No, no, I speak about a different car. It's this one, the Defender was freaking off-road tires. Look at this, how close he is. How close he is, four seconds behind the Datsun. Ooh, I want this car. I want this car badly. It's going to be a very important car later in the challenges. Absolutely. I can. So if you have this car, make sure to keep it. Make sure to keep it. I feel like all lower Q off-roaders, you should give almost a shot to every lower Q off-roader and see how this car is before you use it as fuse material or sell it. So here we need to change it a little bit because it doesn't work yet i tried a few things that but um this is tricky this is tricky without using um yeah when you can't use slick tires so my epic renault needs to stay home except for the i still got the renault maxi turbo which hopefully can do something here because especially the last race the twisty road race it's giving me headaches because he comes with four-wheel drive and I can't really do enough points there so I'm trying now again should be good enough by the way that other Renault I definitely need to keep whenever I get it again I had it I had it before the white Renault and just got rid of it but it's actually very good for city streets 
if you need a lower Q City Streets ride. So two nine, and that should hopefully be a win. Oh man, thanks to the amazing handling. 98, 259, 20. We made it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. There we go. Two more to go. Round 23. Okay, he comes with a four wheel drive Porsche. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, car park is going to be interesting. Uh, no traction control, obviously, but we can try it because uh, he doesn't have traction control as well on car park. And then it's just all about the handling. And the Maxi Turbo is not a bad ride. I really strongly feel about it and I think it should I should max out a second one. It can be very useful. Maxi Turbo has been Yeah, there has been a good um, epic for me. I remember how sad I was back in the days when I cut it. Because I mean I think I was opening up French packs and I wanted obviously to get a Bugatti. <laughs> and I got it I got like, oh yeah, here's an epic. It was kind of sad, but, well, I shouldn't be. I mean, look at that. It's helping me a lot, even in the current events which we have. So, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, the last one of the day. City Streets Medium. City Streets Small, Car Park, City Streets Medium, and Twisty Road. Oh, tricky, tricky, tricky. But I think we got our formula. We're going through it and then have our last ceramic of the day. Did you watch the whole video? Let me know down below. I know it was a long one. I don't judge you if you definitely skipped to a couple of very important points. Um, however, thanks you. Think, thanks you. Wow, my English is today very good. Um, thank you for your loyalty <laughs> and watching the video. And if you enjoyed the video and if it helped you a little bit or if you have any comments and questions and blah, 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 let me know down below. Or you can just show your sympathy by leaving a like and hopefully winning a new subscriber 293 to 0 and we're going in for the last ceramic of the day Chrysler Town and Country Ford Focus 1.0 Nissan Petrol BMW 330i and Chevrolet Monte Carlo thanks for double super rare I will work on my ultra rares actually. Right, time for something with an animal emblem. All right, Antoine Legrand. Okay, animal emblem. We got a few ones. Not only Jaguar. I mean, we got Alpha, kind of like. I mean, we got the snake there. I don't know if they count that. Um, then we got the Jaguar, obviously. And we got Lamborghini. Oof, duh. That would be tough. Both of them, not really my strong side. Then we got Dodge Ram. Woo, I'm complete, five out of five. And we got Vauxhall, kind of like that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me know. Are you ready for the next mystery manufacturer? And wish you a pleasant day. That was a casual mobile camera, and I'm out. <laughs>